Hello everyone, this is Teacher Rajil. In this video, we are going to discuss multiplication of decimal numbers. Example number 1, 23.7 times 5.9. So in multiplying these two numbers, the first thing we are going to do is to arrange them vertically, ignoring the decimal points that will look like this. This first factor, 237, is what we call the multiplicand, while the second factor, 59, is what we call the multiplier. Now, since we don't have decimal points, we will just follow rule in multiplying whole numbers. Let's start multiplying now. 9 times 7 is 63. Bring down 3. Here is 6. 9 times 3 is 27 plus 6 is 33. Bring down 3. Carry 3. Then 9 times 2 is 18 plus 3 is 21. We already finished multiplying 9 to all the digits in our multiplicand. And now we will multiply 5 to all the digits in our multiplicand as well. Okay, 5 times 7 is 35, bring down 5, carry 3. Take note that our first entry here is on the tens place because 5 here, okay, is on the tens place. Let's continue multiplying. 5 times 3 is 15 plus the remainder of 3 is 18, bring down 8, carry 1, then 5 times 2 is 10 plus 1 is 11. Now, we are going to add vertically, okay, adding the corresponding digits. So 3 by itself, copy it down, 3 plus 5 is 8, 1 plus 8 is 9, 2 plus 1 is 3, and then 1 by itself, copy it down. Now, how about the decimal point? Okay, let's look at the original numbers we have. 23.7 has one decimal place. And also, 5.9 has one decimal place. Now, we will just add one decimal place here and one decimal place here equals two decimal places. Meaning to say, we are going to put our decimal point here between 9 and 8 okay that means two decimal places so our answer is 139.83 let's do another example 29.9 times 65.273 again we are going to arrange these two numbers vertically ignoring the decimal points that we look like this so what have you noticed? We put 299 here, and this will be our multiplier, and 65,273 as our multiplicand. So it is the most convenient way when we multiply two numbers. The one with the lesser number of digits will be our multiplier. Now. We are simply multiplying two whole numbers because we ignored the decimal points. Let's start multiplying. 9 times 3 is 27. Bring down 7, carry 2. 9 times 7 is 63, plus 2, 65. Bring down 5, carry 6. 9 times 2 is 18, plus 6 is 24. Bring down 4. K with 2, 9 times 5 is 45, plus 2 is 47, bring down 7, K with 4, then 9 times 6 is 54, plus 4 is 58. Now we finish multiplying 9 to all the digits in our multiplicand. Now we will also have to multiply this 9 here to all the digits in our multiplicand. But since we already know 
the product when we multiply 9 to all the digits here so that's the same product we will get when we multiply this second 9 here to all the digits in our multiplicand so we will just copy this uh, digits here but this time okay 7 should be line up with 5 which is on the tens place because this 9 here is on the tens place okay then copy 5 4 7 and then 58 now we will multiply 2 to all the digits in our multiplicand so 2 times 3 is 6 now notice here again that we write 6 on the hundreds column because this 2 here is on the hundreds place let's continue multiplying 2 times 7 is 14 bring down 4 carry 1 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5 2 times 5 is 10 bring down 0 carry 1 2 times 6 is 12 plus 1 is 13 now we are going to add vertically okay adding corresponding digits so we have here 7 by itself then 5 plus 7 is 12 bring down 2 carry 1 1 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 is 16 bring down 6 carry 1 then 1 plus 7 plus 4 plus 4 is 16 bring down 6 carry 1 then 1 plus 8 plus 7 plus 5 is 21 so bring down 1 carry 2 so 2 plus 5 plus 8 is 15 bring down 5 carry 1 1 plus 5 plus 3 is 9 and then 1 by itself copy it down now how about the decimal point okay so let's look at our original numbers 29.9 .9 has one decimal place and 65.273 has three decimal places so we add 1 plus 3 is 4 so meaning to say our answer here has four decimal places and the decimal should be here so our answer is 1951.6627 now I prepared here two items for you to practice you can pause the video and try working on these two items if you are ready I can now show you the answer for item number one, the answer is 649.06. And for item number two, the answer is 0 0.43168. Did you get the two items right? I hope you did. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Teacher Regil. Keep safe.